let him see it, let him see you. Oh, 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 oh,
So I don't want by the end of me highlighting and contouring and putting this powder and stuff, I don't want you to look light, too light. Like, or you know, cause I know you like to be bronzy. You like to have that color yes. in your face. So I always go slightly darker for that reason. Okay, so I see what I'm doing wrong already. <laughs> what are you doing wrong? This is what, I, well you gonna see, but this is what I'm using for this area. That's already too bright. Well, not necessarily. So first, when I go underneath the eyes, I do a color that is like, will be like essentially like your normal concealer color. Okay. Now, if I'm trying to like really get your under eye bright, right? Yeah. Then yes, I will go with a lighter color like that. Okay. So like, well, I'm gonna, this is like the first layer of concealer. Another reason why we wanna moisturize because we're putting a lot of products. Okay. See, you, you gotta see? give me some of my face to do. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna just do it. Here, you can right. just put your lipstick on. <laughs> I wanna make sure I can do it. You can't. Look, you got a whole side. Okay. A whole side. I don't have makeup on it. Look, okay, so now I'm going with really the lighter it. one. Okay. But before I do that, I'm going to basically blend out the first one. Because if I just put it right on top right now, it's gonna all just mix in together. So I need to blend this out, let it like really start to mesh with your, like your, the rest of your makeup that's already on your face mm -hmm. and your skin. And then I'll add the next concealer. say five years we took off from there so i feel like i really started in like 2015 2016 okay even though technically i got my license in 2014. got you all so, right so you see how it's lighter now yeah yeah okay and the layers actually come through and the layers will come through because you didn't just mix everything that's my problem okay you're just mixing it together yeah okay yeah so now another thing is you want to you want to let it sit Okay. Because if you just uh, immediately blend it away, again, you're going to blend all that color together. Okay. If you let it sit, it's going to kind of thicken up. And then you'll be able to like slightly blend it out and you'll still see that color. Okay. So we're going to leave it as is now, except for your forehead area because I do want to start your eyebrows. Okay. So it kind of just gives me an opportunity to like... And are you following Key? Yeah. You do this on the other side? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna have you right there too. <laughs> yes. So, basically, you may just leave it there. Yeah, but I am looking. So this was what you used for my foundation. Yep, so I mixed. So normally I use NARS Macau. Okay. The color Macau, which I think you have. Yes. Um, I mixed it with a little bit of Marquise. Oh, okay. Because it had like a redness to it. Cadiz. No, Cadiz is fine too because okay. it's the lighter one. So I mixed Tahoe today. Okay. Because it has like a little bit of lightness to it. Got it. And I think, I feel like all of those balanced together is good for your skin complexion. Me personally, that's what I feel. Got it. Okay. But every artist will have to feel like it was slightly different. I already see a difference though. Like, I love it. Okay. And the way you do it? Well, no, I mean, how you already are coloring me. Mm-hmm. Okay. And really, that's what it is. We're just coloring. Okay. All right, so brows. You've been doing good with your brows, though. Thank you. I try to force um, an arch. Because the Lord gave me just eyebrows that go straight across my face. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you always asking me, like, T, I want an arch. I want it to, like, curve down like that. <laughs> Even though, like, you can see your eyebrows do naturally just go straight. They do. I know. But we're going to add a little tail. Thanks, God. <laughs> so. It was almost like, he was like, I just slapped him on there. You know what I mean? <laughs> just straight line. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Could have gave you none. Oh. Oh, That's right. Okay, God. That's right. <laughs> you just, you just his messenger, like, girl, shut okay. up. <laughs> he could have gave you none. And I've seen that, praise God. So, it's funny you said that because while I was talking my yin yang, 
I was thinking it, and then here you come, Scoop. It sounded like Mufasa. <laughs> <laughs> he could have gave you none. <laughs> but it's the truth. Be grateful. Yes. But honestly, yeah. I know people who like shave off their brows so they can like get the shape they want. Yeah. I'm not doing that. No, I definitely don't recommend. Because what about the days when I'm like, I don't feel like putting on makeup. I'm going to always have to put on the eyebrow. Would you feel like you would get like microblading? Where it, it like changes, they were like, you know, it's actually a shape on you? Oh, you know, I don't know. But does it look like hair? Or does it I don't feel like it does. I never feel like it actually looks like hair. Okay. That's just me personally. Yeah, if it just looks like a marker, then... Maybe not for me. But I've seen some women where it's like really pretty on them. And I can't tell the difference. Yeah. But I think, so with microblading, can they almost do like hairing? Like they can make it look like hair with the lines or something? They can. There's new methods. Like okay. remember like back in the day where people literally would just have like the like Sharpie mm -hmm. like brows that were like literally like outline and filled in yeah it definitely is not like that anymore but i feel like you gotta find the right person i feel like there's very few people that can do it that good got you i would just be so afraid because it's staying there it's a tattoo right that's it now when you do the color underneath make sure you always do mix your concealer and your foundation a lot of times I feel like people go get like another color or a really, really bright concealer, mm -hmm. but you really don't want it to be like that because then it's going to be hard to blend out. Mm -hmm. If you mix your concealer in your foundation, it's always going to be something like it's going to be easier. And it's like you want to kind of do use colors that you already use in your face. Okay. And then when you do the top part, when you do the top part, you always want to use just your foundation. Okay. So then that way. When I do the top part, the above the eyebrow? Yeah. Oh. Because then it will blend in easier. Absolutely. And it has more of a natural appearance. Okay. So, Key, would you consider yourself a part of the beehive? Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Oh, I will I will screw somebody's neck off for Beyonce. <laughs> so sorry. I pray for Beyonce. I pray for Beyonce, Jay-Z. <laughs> I do. I pray for them. Who else do I pray for? Of course, you know, I pray. I pray for a lot of people, but but especially Beyonce. Mm -hmm. I wrote Beyonce a letter when she was in Destiny's Child. And Where I'm not sure say? that it went. I just sound like huge <laughs> I'm not, sure yeah, I she got got it. I'm not sure she got it. But it's okay because I met her and she was super sweet. Um, but yeah, girl, I wrote a letter and I just, what did it say? It just said um, that I love, you know, I just love her. I was just talking about her skills and stuff like that and how it inspires me. It was total fan mail. Wow. I just can't like picture you as like being like this like fan fan like going to the concerts and be like oh my god Beyonce. So I'm not that kind of fan. I'm okay. the kind of fan that acts like they're my family. So it's <laughs> like a bit of familiarity, but you're not getting me passed out or like spazzing out. Like if I'm in your presence, I'm gonna be like, what's good, you know? And that's it. I'm like, wow. Ah! <laughs> Why did I just scream in front I, of you? I don't know. Mm. Oh. I'm gonna show y'all one of my favorite. Um, it was the first look you did, the burgundy for my dad's birthday. Oh my god! Was that the first one? Yeah. No, I did New Year's, New Year's Eve, 2018. Oh. We're going into the, into 2018. Okay. Yeah. So I, of course I fell in love with you when she first did my face, but my favorite look because I was used to like just basic. She did this burgundy eye, and I wore this burgundy leather dress. Everything. everything. When I say I was a bad, and ever, I since show then, ever since then, we've been trying to go back to that look. But every time I come to Key's, Key's house, wherever she comes to the shop, I'm like, okay, Key, what you want to do today? 
something natural, you know, very basic. I only got two seconds for you to do I it. <laughs> no, it's cool. We're gonna do it at some point. But let me ask you this, because you make my eyes pop so well. I can't do that top liner. So can we do a remedy where I don't do the top liner? <laughs> Please see, because I have not mastered that. You don't have to get it perfect though, I told you, because your lashes that you wear are so like full that I f you, you, you won't be able to see the fact that you like are not that perfect with top liner. But you have to keep practicing it so you can get better. Your bronzer, so what I'm going to use to bronze your face, mm -hmm. I just put that on your eyes because you really don't need eyeshadow palettes. You can use your blushes, your bronzers. Oh! Okay. Oh yeah, we mix and match that. So I don't I, have to use like a, like you said, an eyeshadow palette because I'm always looking for like the dark. So do you have some clients that are like super over the top makeup, like want heavy makeup and some that are just like, I just want very simple? So most of my clients are very natural. Or, All right, so the key to putting on lashes. Let it dry. Let it dry at first. Now, what I did start doing, besides like waiting for it to get tacky, mm -hmm. I'll, once it's first wet, I like, I put the glue on. Yeah. It's still wet. I place it onto your eye. Once I do that, I take it off. Let that dry up a little bit and mm -hmm. let this dry up a little bit. And you'll be able to tell because the glue will start to become like transparent. Mm -hmm. And then that's when we put it back on your eye because at that point we got glue there and there. Oh, okay. And it's gonna stick easier and go straight into place. Okay. And it's right in place. It sure is. And then of course we're gonna do the mascara and like smush them together, but. So why do we do the mis the mascara? The mascara? I don't know. So you see how about. like the your lashes underneath, like you can see. Yeah. Your lashes underneath, like they got kind of like makeup on them and stuff. Mm -hmm. We want them to blend oh. together so they look seamless. Okay. Ooh, look at that eyelash. I don't know. You love these eyelashes not too. They're mm -hmm. like so perfect for you. Thank you, T. And then we just smush them. Smush. Smush, smush. There you go. So now you can't see your lashes underneath anymore. <laughs> lashes is your thing. I don't know who like lashes more, you or your mama. Ooh, mama, she she like them flat flappies. But I feel like I always use like similar lashes on you really? and her. Well, you know what? I have definitely changed. You I know think how so, you for used sure. to tease your mom about things, and then you find yourself turning doing into the same thing. Yeah, absolutely. My mama was already hip, and I was I'm just coming along. Come along. So, okay. I like your eyelashes. Now, what's your deal? What's yours doing? But my eyes are like smaller. So like, if I put these on you, you're gonna feel like, see, can I get a little like? You think so? Little, mm -hmm. Those are pretty. Thank you. I think that, I mean, we could try them one day. Okay. I just think you're gonna feel like they're too short. Cause I know you like lashes. But for every day, I wear a shorter lash. But for stage, baby, I wanna pop. <laughs> Okay. I want you to see me from a mile away. Yes, I want my hair. I want everything. So, T, you you said you have certain kind of clients. Which kind of client am I? <laughs> You're the multitasking celebrity. You smell that post from the um, the different people. Yes. You're the multitasking celebrity. Have? So you have the person, the people who's always looking at their phone, but that's basically you too. Like, like I'm when sorry. you look at your phone, like you know how like you look down. Yeah. And you don't let me be trying to do a bottom eye. I can basically forget it. <laughs> <laughs> I be like this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but um, yeah, you're the multitasking celebrity. You have um, let's see, you have the ones that are like in your face. Like very rarely I get the ones that are like in your face. Like literally, like I'll be doing makeup, and they're like moving closer to you, like while they're talking, like yeah, girl, you know what I mean? <laughs> and you be like, what? Like trying to move back? Be 
because Rona is still real. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, I need this. So what is this? So this is, I'm just using this as a form of bronzer just so like we can like let you do your, your half. But basically this is the same as this. I'm just doing a, soft, a softer version. Okay. So this is bronzing. I'm bronzing your face. So I'm adding so more. So bronze is not, it has nothing to do with golden, goldening your face. No. I'm so wrong. Now some bronzers do have like glitter in them, but I don't. I just use it for like warmth. And then I add like highlighter and stuff later. Okay. But I want you to do your side and then we can do like the finishing touches. Okay. Okay, you ready? 